Hey guys, um, so right now I'm going to show you how to get um, Hellfire Cannon by slowly defeating Kaiwenji and Zenji at the Conflict R1 castle. Now, I have to warn you guys, um, I've already played through this once. Um, I played through this twice actually, it was the second time that I got the weapon. The first time I actually got killed, believe it or not. Um, I wasn't sure how this is gonna go down, so I didn't record that one, and that was the one time where I actually got killed because, first of all, there was, uh, archers, I couldn't defend myself against the archers, and my life, I kept on getting down to, uh, red life, so, that being said, I switched from going to, uh, going with, uh, two halberds for primary and secondary to, the primary being my, um, I believe it's, uh, Twin Swords, um, and my secondary being my Halberd. So, without further ado, crap, sorry, um, the Invisible Retainer can't quite talk well, so if I sound weird, then yeah, that's why. But anyways, um, Nightmare Difficulty, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna just try to speed through this here. The flames of war descended upon Nanyang in Jing province. Ho Yi rose in rebellion. So what I normally do is I just ignore all the enemy officers unless if they're in my way or with Kaiwenji or Zenji. So um both are on the east side, thankfully. Call my horse first and I will show you guys where they both are. So, uh, Kaiwenji is right here and Zenji is right here. So, obviously, I go for Kaiwenji first. Ho Yin can, uh, he can handle himself. Um, so, you don't need to worry about him. You can pretty much kill most of the officers in the top right corner and he'll still be alive. But, um,. Alright, for this part, you have to go through this ledge right here. Um, there's actually a little opening right here that you could go onto, so you don't have to make an entire circle around the, uh, the stronghold. I actually found that out the first time, so it's actually a lot more convenient that way. So I ignored this guy. Alright, so... Switch over to his halberd. The good thing about this weapon is that it can heal life, and that's the main the main reason why I chose twin swords for this one because, like I said, it can heal. Oh shoot. So yeah, you can heal, you, you can basically heal yourself, and uh... I actually hate how... Alright, so she's basically dead. Alright. Now I'm going to go up to uh, Zenji and uh, kill her. Alright, so now I come down here. Oh, that's why I didn't have my halberd selected. I am not having a lot of luck right now. 
It didn't take me that long to kill Zenji. I like, I don't know what happened right today or right now. Okay, so I finally killed her. Um. So Hoyan's in danger, but I can pretty much still just walk over there and save him. I mean, that's because I have the red hair, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. So I'm just gonna go through these gates right here because it leads me directly to Ho Yen. Alright. Kill both of these guys. Hopefully this knocks out both. Okay, maybe not, but it weakened them. That's always a good thing. So it took care of one guy. Okay, so I just saved Ho Yen. And there's another guy heading in from the right side of the gate or castle, and I'm gonna go kill him right now. Oh, Suhan. Alright. Oh shoot, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Alright, so I killed Su Hong. God, he caught me off guard there. Alright, so like I said, this is my best run. Um, I've done better. And I just got lost. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna come over here and kill this guy right here. Um, so I'll do this. Nice. Alright, so I killed him. Now we go on. Now we can break this siege. The enemy is stronger than I anticipate. So it won't show that I unlocked the weapon because I already unlocked the weapon. But by the time you kill Zenji or Kaiwanji, whichever person you go for first, you should have received the um, unlocked uh, message or unlocked weapon message. So, alright. So, just to play it safe, I'm gonna go kill Joshu first. Now, most of these officers have really high defense, so I would definitely recommend. Um, Choosing a weapon that you can heal yourself with. Oh, 
so I kill Josh Hu first. I must come back and try again later. So now I'm gonna go back. Yeah, see how much life an archer like takes out like that's ridiculous. So that's why I recommend getting a speed weapon because you can uh, heal yourself with it, and uh, that was a huge factor to um to me being successful in getting the weapon. Like I said, the first time when I tried playing this, I basically, I died, so. Kill him. Not dead yet. All right. They should kill him then. All right. So I'm since I'm I'm gonna be faster outside the gate. I'm just gonna go outside the gate and head towards the main camp because it's under attack right now. I should be able to make it back. If not... Yeah, I should be able to. Oh wait, hold on, there's a uh, ledge here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Him. Okay, there might have to be a part two to this because looking at it right now, I won't be able to make it in. Um, I will be able to make it in two minutes, so, uh, yeah, I'll just kill this guy, and, um, pause the video there. Where is he? So, yeah, guys, um, that's part one, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.